Hi and welcome back. So in this video, let's see how you can auto dark in Audacity. Auto darking is basically adding background music and you want the music such like that when you're speaking, the music goes lower, but when you're not speaking, the music goes up. If you're doing any marketing videos or any important videos, just do away with the music. Let people hear your voice. You don't need the music, okay? Just have confidence in your voice. It doesn't matter who likes or doesn't like it. You just do your own voice. You don't need background music when you're doing any kind of tutorials or you're doing any marketing videos for your product. You don't need the background music. But if you need it, this is how you're going to do it. And in Audacity, you can use something called auto ducking to do the auto duck feature whereby when you start speaking the music goes down and you can do this with any kind of music so the music that needs to be auto ducked that need to be auto ducked will be put at the top so let me import some music here and to import music i'm on windows it's very easy you can just drag in music into audacity and it's going to get put here at the bottom so you can see it's very long music and my, my audio is not even 30 seconds long. What I can do, first of all, I'm going to have to cut out the unnecessary bits of my music. Just select and then I will do control K to delete. And now we have our music here. And something else. Of course, the music is pretty tiny, so let me just zoom in zoom until we get to some reasonable music audio waves so for me to do auto ducking i'm gonna need to bring this up so the music that you want to auto duck put that at the top and your voice put that at the bottom so just remember that if you want to mute any audio you can always mute an audio audacity is a free audio editing software and that's going to mute the one at the top if you want to mute the one at the bottom Okay, so what I want to do is I want to use this to auto duck for this. So let us do the auto ducking. First of all, select that. Remember the music that you want in the background, put it at the top and then select it. Then come up here and uh, choose auto duck. So if you want to auto duck, this is the amount of auto ducking that's going to happen. How low do you want the music to go? when it goes down so let's just just take it down to to 20 db and if you look at my audio my audio is pretty pretty short it's 12 seconds here okay this one at the bottom is 11 seconds and some milliseconds so i don't have any point whereby the maximum pause of my audio is one second and let me just do it with this default settings and you're going to see what happens. You can preview it here to hear how low the music is going to go. Okay. And you can see that in certain sections, it's not even going down because I have put the default setting is such that if, if I make a pause for like one second, then the music auto ducts. Let me show you what I mean. Let me click OK. And you can see now, I don't have any place whereby I have taken a pause for more than a second. That's less than a second. So you can change that setting in your auto ducking and we're going to see how to do that in a moment. But first of all, let's just play it to see what we have. Audacity is a free audio editing software that you can use to edit your audio. You can tell that the music is pretty, pretty loud and you can even go lower. And if you want to reduce the music any further, the quickest way you can do it is just select the music and then you see this element here. You can just select that and this will allow you to reduce your audio waves, okay? You can reduce it and when you do that, Audacity is a free audio editing software and you can see the music has gone down. So let me just undo all that. Let me select this. This is the one that you use to select elements and this is one which you can use to move your audio. If you want to join this audio with the one at the top, you select this and then you join it to the one at the top. And I showed you in some videos how to do that. Now, let's just select this one and then do Control Z. Let me just reduce this 
the amplitude of this. Okay. And let's do the auto ducking thing again. Auto duck. So here, let's say I want it to I want to reduce the seconds for which when I take a pause, the auto ducking takes effect. Just to show you how auto ducking works. So for this, let's say 0 0.3 seconds. So if I take a break for 0 0.3 seconds, the music is going to go up. These are other lengths that you can you can edit. So this we've said duck amount. This is how low you want the music to go. If you want it to go even lower, you can reduce. If you want it to just reduce the music a little bit, you can do that. But let me leave it there at around 20. That's okay. And then outer fade. So this is fade down length, you know, music fades down. How long do you want it to fade down? Let me put this back to 0 0.3. My music is pretty short. So this, I can also do this at 0 0.3. So all these others, as the name suggests, these are the time it takes for the music to fade out. Okay, so fade out. Fade up length. How long do you want the music to fade up? All this. Okay, you can just play around with these numbers to see what they will do for your specific audio. So for me, let me do OK. And you can see now when I reduce the amount of time that requires the fading to happen, it's going to take effect here as well. So let's just play and hear what we have. Audacity is a free audio editing software that you can use to edit your audio. You can download it from the Audacity website and use it for all your audio editing tasks. Okay, so that's pretty much it, how to do auto ducking. Just play around with the settings. If you want to add fade out effect here, select the area where you want to do the fade out. So let's say the fade out will start from somewhere there. And let me go and do fade out. Website and use it for all your audio editing tasks. You can even do the fade out manually right here. If you select this. And you just select that. Select there. You can, you can fade out manually right here. You see that? That's just going to fade out our music for us. Tasks. It's just that it ends abruptly. But if I had more music here, it would be much better for the fade out. All right. So that's pretty much how you can do the auto ducking in Audacity. But as I said, you don't really need auto ducking. Just do your own voice. And get comfortable with your own voice when you do your recording it doesn't really matter who likes or doesn't like it avoid any music in your audio when you record your videos you don't have to put audio in the back unless you're doing a movie or it's acting or something like that maybe in that case you can do the audio for dramatic effects but other than that you don't need the audio you play around with all these auto duck settings all the auto ducking settings here play around with them to see what effect they're going to bring to your music okay you can increase any settings anytime that you you need to increase here these are all the auto ducking times the fade in the fade out the i mean the fade down when the music goes down the fade up when the music goes up and then the amount of auto ducking how low do you want the music to go you can change the threshold this is the maximum for which it will go and you can change this as well. So that's pretty much how to do auto ducking. And once you do your auto ducking, you can export your audio once again. All right. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I will see you next time.